So this is a question from movingpicturesnetwork.com reader Celestial Motion. Um, you have a lot more experience in, in many ways than your younger co-stars. Yeah, co -stars. In, in many ways, sure. But at the same time, actors feed off of one another. And yeah. so what do you feel like they learned from you and you learned from them? You know, it's not, you, you know, it's the experience and, and the way you work. It's it's more that what you expect from them, you know. It's more along those you know uh, lines, but you know, and and maybe what they expect from me. Uh, uh, I look for people, and um, first of all, who I enjoy and I like, and people who don't study answers to questions that they haven't heard yet. You know, too many actors go home and they study, to, you know, they look in a mirror and they, you know, it's sort of a very mechanical way of working. You know, it's like the old Vic years ago, you know, it was all in the voice, you know. So, but if they do that, there's, there's no availability. I like, I like to create it, if that's what they learn from me, availability. I try to give them as much stuff off camera as I possibly can because, you know, you can't be good in a bad scene, so everybody has to be good in it. So I do whatever I can, and hopefully they learn that, and the younger people, that, I mean, there is that kind of selfish thought in a lot of people like, oh, you know, if I'm better than them, then, you know, look, but it doesn't work that way. But the availability, of getting back to that mirror, they study the answer, so if I kiss them or slap them, which they shouldn't know, which I'm going to do, but they rehearsed the the, uh, the answer to that, you know, the night before, so it doesn't matter whether I slip, or kiss them or slap them, you know. But just to be available, you know, available for anything that happens. I mean, Brando is probably the expert in that. 